Hello, beautiful people of the internet. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You are beautiful. You're beautiful, okay? I just wanted to get that out there because I'm feeling generous today. Um, today I am going to be doing a foundation feature on the BH Cosmetics liquid foundation the naturally flawless liquid foundation this is my look i did with a full face of bh cosmetics so i will go ahead and i will link that in the description box down below um but if you want to see how this foundation wears how it looks at the end of the day then definitely keep watching so let me read to you um, off of my phone what it says about this foundation. It says that, um, number one, my shade in, I think I'm in fair beige. What am I in? No, I'm in natural beige, um, which is 204. It's the third palest shade. And um, this is what the shade range looks like. So it looks like it goes quite deep. I obviously don't have a deep complexion, so I can't vouch for that. If you do have a deep complexion and you've tried this foundation, let us know in the comments down below how it fared for you. Um, but this is normally $9.50, and right now it's $6.50. They do have afterpay um, for orders over $35 and it's cruelty free dermatologist tested and let's see what it says please excuse jude he's hyper today it says get skin pampering benefits and a radiant complexion with our new and improved bh liquid foundation reformulated with the addition of hyaluronic acid it helps keep high skin hydrated and younger looking this foundation provides lightweight medium to full coverage in a natural satin finish and comes in 24 shades to flatter multiple skin tones there is a perfect match for you so it also has a list of benefits it says it has hyaluronic acid to help lock in moisture gives a soft focused look medium to full undetectable coverage leaves skin with a luminous appearance ultra lightweight coverage provides a flawless complexion vegan dermatologist tested and cruelty free so um let's go and let's see oh i hope you're not crooked sorry if you are let's go see and um give this foundation a whirl all right so i wanted to insert some swatches in natural light so these are all foundations that you have seen me review before so i wanted to give you kind of like a a, a comparison um and i think i'll keep doing this um in my videos but we'll see so this is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation in the shade Vanilla. This is the CoverGirl No Filter Foundation in the shade Light 45. Up here we have the CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir in Ivory. This one right here is the Ordinary Foundation in 1.1N. And then this is the BH naturally flawless foundation in the shade natural beige okay so i have you guys right zoomed in as always i am going to prep my skin i'm using the becca first light priming filter and the elf tone adjusting face primer in brightening lavender Okay, so now that my skin is all prepped, we are going to be going in with the Beach Cosmetics um, Naturally Flawless. That's the school bell. <laughs> um, it is in the shade 204 Natural Beige. Let's hope that this matches me. I use this foundation forever ago. As you can see, the tip is still is dirty, but heck if I know anything about it. <laughs> Um, today to apply my foundation as I pretty much always use especially in my foundation feature videos is a, an elf total face sponge so I'm gonna pump this out onto the back of my hand oh it's thick oh gosh 
what's happening. Okay, so the pumps are very little pumps. Um, and I don't know if that's because you only need a little bit or if that's because um, the pump, my pump is broken. So I'm going to take a little bit. As you can see, it's very thick. It's not moving anywhere. I actually think this might be a good match. Oh, it's very thick. Um, so can you see that? Like the strings of foundation. Um, doesn't smell like anything which I appreciate. I generally try not to put fragranced foundations on my skin. And I'm gonna go in and we're gonna blend this out. I, um, if you are new here, I have combination skin. So my skin is very oily in my T-zone and I have very dehydrated, flaky, dry skin everywhere else on my face. I like to work in small layers when applying my foundation instead of putting a lot of foundation on and getting full coverage right away. And I generally enjoy wearing a medium coverage foundation. Um, and in these videos, I will come back with all of my um, makeup on, show you how it looks once everything's applied. And then I'll also um, do an update at the very end. And in about a week um, or two, you will actually be seeing this video right now. Um, and uh, I will update um, on my Instagram on my foundation feature um, highlight. I will and um, in a comment, in a pinned comment down below, how the foundation wore for the week, um, what primers I like using under it, etc. So that was one very very thin layer. We're gonna go in with another. Like I said, this foundation is very thick and I don't want to say that it's like worrying me but I just don't want to look cakey I'm really trying to sheer it out to spread it out around my skin I always blend foundations down my neck and onto my ear otherwise I have very distinct line of demarcation so that's two thin layers, and I'll probably, let me get a little bit closer for you. So as you can see, it's kind of sitting on top of my skin instead of sinking into it. Sometimes that gets better with stuff like setting spray. Um, I know that some people, when they do their first, their foundation first impressions, they don't use stuff like setting spray just to see how it wears, but I always use setting spray whenever I wear a foundation, so for me it's more misleading to not use a setting spray. That's part of the reason why I always, like even though I'm technically doing a full face of BH Cosmetics after this, I didn't use the BH primer that I have because I always like to use the exact same primers so I know how the foundation is actually performing because I know how other foundations have performed with this set of primers. I still have a lot on my hand, which is promising. I'm gonna take a little bit onto the sponge and I'm gonna try and build up in my the areas that I have a little bit of redness. Again, I'm really trying to shear this out. You'll still be able, you can still see like my freckles on my nose and some of my hyperpigmentation and stuff like that, which, you know, is not awful for me. With these videos, I'm trying to be really informative. I'm trying to watch a lot of like foundation review videos to see, you know, what other people are doing and, you know, kind of what level I can commit to. So this is one, oh, this is several layers of the foundation. Um, again, I know I have a lot of texture. I have a lot of acne scars. I have a lot of pigmentation in my skin. Um, I have whatever the heck this weird thing is. I think that when I was, uh, basically a, a whack, uh, my face got hurt when I was younger and I think the orbital bone never set properly. So I have this like, random scar line thing. 
Let me get right in for you. So, I don't know. It's just, I feel like it's sitting on my skin. Let me look at it in the mirror. Yeah, it's not sitting well on my nose at all. So, it definitely does not agree with that primer. But everywhere else on my skin, it's looking okay. I do go, and it has been a little bit since I've shaved my face but even still I don't know this definitely is not in my opinion a full coverage foundation I can still see my breakouts and my redness and stuff like that and again if you like a medium coverage foundation so far so good it's not uncomfortable I actually doesn't feel like I'm wearing foundation at all um, you saw that I went in with like little layers and stuff like that, like light layers. Um, <laughs> you didn't hear that? <laughs> oh man. Um, so that's how it's looking. This is natural daylight, by the way. I don't use artificial lighting or anything like that in these. So yeah. I'm going to come back, I'm going to have all of my face products on and stuff like that, and I will um, go and show you how it looks with all the products and setting spray and everything like that, and then I'll do one check-in at night, and that'll be for tonight, and then um, when you're seeing this, make sure to go over to my Instagram and um, see how the foundation wore for a week. All right, so here is the finished skin. Um, I do like, especially in the summertime, to be quite glowy, so I put on a lot of um, highlight and stuff like that. If you want to know all of the products that I used, I will link the video. I did a full face of BH Cosmetics, so um, I'll link that up in the eye and in the description box down below. I am going to go live my life and I will check in at the end of the night. This is how my skin is looking. So it's definitely melted around my nostrils and I accidentally did touch up my um, my face. So I touched up right here mm -hmm. and right here and uh, I think that was it. Um, and it just made the makeup go so cakey, even though I used the BH Cosmetics powder with it. Um, also, I will say that it still feels tacky to the touch. And I know it's not my setting spray because uh, I've used that setting spray before. And it doesn't make my skin feel tacky. It just gives it a glow. Um, so I will say for several hours let's see I finished my makeup at 12 and it's now 9 45 so what is that 10 9 10 hours of wear um it looks okay still but it's definitely worn off on my chin around my mouth it's worn off um that concealer really creased but that's a different video um and I just feel like my bronzer and blush and stuff like that still aren't on my skin. So that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I'm going to go wash my face now. And I really appreciate you hanging out with me today. I'll see you later. Bye. Hey.